Dad, what's this thing called Maxwell's Demon? Some guy said it breaks the second law of thermodynamics. That's one of the most famous thought experiments in physics. Maxwell's Demon is an imaginary creature proposed by James Clerk Maxwell in the 1800s. It challenges the idea that entropy, or disorder, must always increase. Okay, what does this little demon actually do? Imagine a box of gas divided into two chambers. The demon controls a tiny door between them. Whenever a fast-moving molecule approaches from one side, it opens the door to let it through. If a slow one comes, it keeps it out. So one side gets hotter and the other cooler, so without using any energy? Exactly. And that seems to violate the second law of thermodynamics, which says you can't decrease entropy without expending work or energy. So why isn't this demon real? Because to make those decisions, the demon has to measure molecules. And that takes information. And information processing has a thermodynamic cost. When you account for that, the second law stays intact. So it's really about the physics of information? Bingo. Maxwell's demon led to major breakthroughs in statistical mechanics and even inspired fields like quantum computing and thermodynamic computing. So a fake demon helped us better understand the limits of real machines? That's the beauty of physics. Sometimes imaginary creatures reveal real truths.